Hello, everybody. I'm going to address a question that I've seen pop up in the groups uh, many times. It is, how do I make letters for my bulletin board? So this is how my process goes, and I think it's pretty quick and easy. So hopefully this will be a really short video and I won't get any lags going on. So first, I've opened Cricut and I have a new project. So I'm just going to go to add text and let's just put in welcome. I can type to school. You can do all uppercase. You can do, you know, however you would normally type this in. I've already put in uh, my poo marker font, which is one that I like. But another one that I use a lot is also penmanship. And I'll show you that one really quick because it's got very, very basic fonts. It's great for my preschoolers. Um, I usually set it for a little bit bolder when I'm doing bulletin board letters. But as you can see right now, this isn't even an inch high, which is no good for bulletin board. Can't see that at all. So I am going to make this, say, five and a half inches high. As you can see now, my letters are huge, but my mat is also not going to hold 59 inches worth of space, obviously. If I go to go, sorry, phone going off. If I go to go, it's going to pop up and it's going to tell me that this doesn't fit on my mat. So what I'm going to do at this point, there's two options here. You can isolate, which is right here, isolate letters. Or if you're already in your layers tab, say you have a Cricut font that has two layers and you want uh, the shadow layer behind it, you would select that now and then you could ungroup. Whichever way you choose to do this, it doesn't really matter. Just know that once you isolate those letters where you ungroup this font, these are individual images now. You cannot go back through and edit this text. So you want to make sure that you have your text exactly how you want it before you do this. Then you're going to select go. No, this is going to jumble your letters. These are individual images now. It's no longer a text. So now you have your letters and they're all on your mat. They're all here, I promise you. You're gonna have to cut them out just how they are here, or you can create a 12 by 12 square. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. An 11 and a half by 11 and a half square on your mat in your design, and you can lay them out how you want to. You could probably squeeze a couple more letters on here if you really, really tried. But I mean, two sheets is a lot better than what it would be if you just printed out Welcome to School in one big, huge, long font. And it's going to be really difficult to do that. So quick refresh. Let me go back really quickly. So you're going to enter your add, add text. Select the font that you want. That will be here after you add text. Welcome. You've added your text. I'm going to go to ed edit. I'm going to select your font, whatever that might be. make your font the size that you want. I usually go based on height, so say four and a half inches is fine, whatever you want. I hit enter. It's now made my letters four and a half inches. I have isolated my letters and I can hit go. And it's gonna print these on two different mats now because they're different colors. But as you can see, all there, my letters are good to go. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye-bye.